in this tutorial I will be explaining you all the functionalities which will come across while creating a report so this is the OBAE URL and uh, as you can see here analytics uh, is the server which we are using uh, to log in into the presentation server so just enter it, your user credentials log in into OBAE uh, click on new click on the analysis analysis uh, earlier in 10g we have uh, uh, reports now uh, it is renamed to analysis and select the subject area and here uh, this is uh, this is the subject area this is these are the folders uh, which will also be called as a presentation folder and if you expand the presentation folder uh, you can see presentation columns so here in this model we have one time dimension product dimension office dimension orders dimension and facts and some of the facts are calculated and which is placed in the calculated facts column uh, folder so now uh, before going to create a report let me explain you all the features that are present in this page so criteria uh, is the tab uh, wherein uh, you will say you will you will be selecting tables columns uh, from your subject area and results is a tab uh, where uh, once you finish your criteria if you want to see the results of that output then results tab will be useful and prompts is the place where you can create your prompt a prompt is nothing but a drop down uh, value which you can select uh, while displaying the report and advanced tab uh, let me explain you some functionalities related to advanced tab here you can see an analysis xml section wherein you can see the xml which is uh, be, which is created on its own while, uh, while selecting the criteria as you can see here uh, the name of the view is compound view 1 and uh, by default one table view is uh, sorry title view will get created and table view will get created and uh, these are some of the uh, uh, functionalities in the XML and when you come down here one SQL issued section is there wherein uh, this is the SQL which is uh, also be called as uh, logical SQL will, which will be sent to the BA server and BA server will use this logical SQL and it will convert into the physical query and that physical query will be sent to source systems and here some advanced SQL classes will be there here you can see some functionalities related to a distinct dimensionality from um, and group by clauses if you want to write uh, 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 your own group by functions then you can write it here and prefix postfix also you can use it here uh, prefix yeah and query performance options can be selected here and coming to criteria tab uh, like I said uh, here you can select the columns let's say uh, I want to create a report uh, which will display for each year uh, each brand for each location how many orders is get uh, processed so select the brand from uh, products table select office from offices and uh, I want to display number of orders okay orders is not present let's say I want to find out the revenue uh, here you can see the columns and if you want to interchange a column uh, let's say offices should be displayed at the beginning just you can click on that offices and drag it and place it in to respective position so if you see this drop down uh, button here you can see some of the functionalities related to each and every column the first option is sorting so as you can see here you can select all the uh, different types of uh, sorting here sort ascending let's say I want to sort this offices by ascending order you can see now where symbol is get added to this column as above and edit formula is a button where if you want to write a condition or uh, if you want to use any formulas you can use this edit formula button 
let's say if I want to uh, add uh, a length of this uh, let's say if I want to calculate the length of this string then I can use the function called length here you can see length of expression and in this expression I can select any column basically it will it will just give the length of this formula this is how uh, this formula button will be used uh, here what it will do is it will just find out the length of the characters which is present in this column so now I don't as of now uh, I don't need this column so uh, yeah let me finish this options first uh, here again in the uh, there is one more tab called uh, column properties when you click on column properties you can select uh, a style by default a style uh, tab will, will be displayed here you can see uh, you can select a font you can select a cell alignment you can select a border etc and here additional formatting let's say if you want to restrict a particular uh, width or height of that columns you can do it here and let's go to the column format so column format is the place uh, where you can see uh, your table and column names uh, present let's say if you want to override the existing table name or column names you can simply select a custom heading here so that uh, you can rename uh, this columns to uh, let's say I want to display a calendar instead of time and per name year instead of per name year I want to display just year and if you see value separation tab here so here you can see the result will be displayed in this form let's say one year has uh, is having multiple rows so then a year will get displayed once and the uh, values in it will be displayed each and every record but whereas if you select the repeat button a uh, year will get repeated again for each set of e each row and data format whenever if you want to override the existing data format let's say for time uh, dimension uh, let's say if you want to display a time uh, which is uh, date column which is actually displaying the complete uh, timestamp of that value still if you want to uh, dis display in uh, the uh, time dimension uh, sorry uh, time dimension column into your own format let's say ddmmyy then you can override the data format by checking the override button and conditional format here in this conditional format what we can do is uh, let's say if if the revenue met a uh, certain value then you can highlight that color by putting a color uh, background color of the cell or vice versa so that it will be easily identified whenever the condition met so in the interaction tab uh, this is uh, this is the place where uh, uh, you can you can use the functionalities of uh, drill down uh, let's say if you have a year and uh, this time dimension is configured as a time dimension in uh, repository I mean as a dimensional hierarchy then what we can do is uh, you can select these options by default it will be drill so it will be uh, enabled with the drilling functionalities so if you want if you don't want to put a drilling drilling on your columns you can simply select none here action links we will discuss later and send master detail events uh, uh, this is used to create master detail reports so which we'll be discussing later and write back if you want this column or whatever the value that is entered in this column should be written back to oracle database or whichever the source database is there then you will use our write back functionality so as of now i am just clicking ok and let let me remove uh, a year a year column from here and let me see ok this is per name year so now this report will give me year by brand revenue so in order to see the result just click on the results tab so as I said earlier by default a title and table view will get populated and here you can see since the uh, the year column is not suppressed uh, is in suppressed you can see only one value as 2008 
and uh, brand you can display um, brand is displaying with along with the revenue and let's say if you want a prompt as year then go to the prompt and click on add button here select column prompt select year for now i am not explaining this uh, things uh, we will discuss in the next video so just click on OD. Uh, okay here you can see uh, the options will get enabled in this format just click on save and this is a uh, year by uh, brand revenue so now uh, we have we have finished our report so we have saved it in the catalog let's go to that catalog go to the training folder and here we can see a year by brand revenue let's open that report open so here you can see the year prompt is get enabled select the drop down button select year and press ok so th since there is no values uh, for 2006 it is not displaying any result so here we can see 2008 results are present so click on open select 2008 click on ok here you can see 2009 values cut enable yeah in the later classes i will be explaining you uh, how to create each and every view along with its functionalities yeah thank you for watching uh, please subscribe to my channel